Hey my internet sisters and welcome back to my channel or welcome and I am Alenia Renee if you don't know and today I'm going to do a little something different. I had several weeks ago I did a collaboration with five other YouTube small YouTubers and we did a collaboration which was a self-reflection discussion you'll be able to find that whole series right above. One of the things that was a constant question was, Alina, why didn't you answer the questions as well? So I decided that I would quickly go ahead and go through and answer these questions. So while I'm doing that, I am having a little bit of orange juice and cranberry juice mix. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in today's discussion. So question number one, when you get with your best friend or your friends, what do you do most? And most of the time with my sister girls, we do a lot of laughing. We do a lot of catching up. We spend that time, we eat. Oh my gracious, y'all, we eat. And we, a lot of times, uh, it is a time for maybe one of us needs to vent and we just need that that time that sisterhood at the time so that's a great time for us to kind of go through those tough discussions that sometimes you need your besties <laughs> or your sister girls whatever you call them you need them right there in front of you to hold your hand to give you a hug or even to tell you you're so wrong so wrong question number two was what piece of advice would you give yourself right now and why? Hmm. Okay. The piece of advice that I would give myself right now is that, girl, chill out. <laughs> chill out and don't look at other what other people are doing. Your impact. Is supposed to be in small increments so that they are sustainable that is the piece of advice that I would give myself and that is because sometimes I get a little distracted and but don't look at your journey as being what theirs is supposed to because you are doing something you might be doing something completely different even though you might think it's the same thing so that's why I would give myself that piece of advice so that I will not get distracted. All right, so question number three that was asked of these collaborators. What is one fear that you have and why? One fear that I have is that I will quit on myself too quickly. I say that because life. I mean, let's keep it real. You have bills. You have things to do. You know, my fella and I are are building a life together and you know and you want things to work out but things do, don't move as quickly and sometimes you have to navigate differently but what I don't want to do is get so afraid that oh my gracious this isn't working or this you know oh, what am I doing am I crazy the money's not flowing in you know those things are real feelings and real things and I don't want to quit on myself too soon because of the fear of life and the things that are expected in life to occur such as paying your bills <laughs> eating okay eating uh, I don't I, I, I don't want to quit on myself because of fear fourth question that I asked was what one to two things do you feel strongly about and why? Okay, so I feel very strongly about women shifting their perspectives so that their mind can move them and push them in the direction that they should be going. I want them to have that joy. I want them to have that success. I want them to feel productive. I want them to feel even in the midst of chaos that they are in control of what's up here and they can do it consistently. They don't feel like, you know what, they're compromising their thoughts 
their opinions and their feelings. So I feel very strongly about that and that is why I created the Joy Nook Network and that's why I'm doing everything that I am doing currently. And that's one thing that I feel very strongly about. The second thing is building generational wealth. Building generational wealth. I've, I've made financial mistakes in my past and but the things that my fella and I are doing is so that we leave a legacy of prosperity and that's not just financially. No, we are leaving a legacy of wealth that will just go, will span over generations of, you know, from our family. And that would be not only, like I said, financially, but it's it's spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and and ensuring that we are present, present in our children's lives. And that is so important to me. That is very, very, very important. All right, so the fifth question is, two to three things that you love about this time in your life. Y'all, I'm on Fabulous 50. Mm -hmm. Fabulous 50. I am. I love the creativity that I have. I love how fearless I'm being and how authentic I am being with who I am and what I want to do. I love the fact that I am An entrepreneur now I own my own business I, I love that and I love the fact that I am creating platforms for women about women to empower women so those are the things that I love about my life right now and this is the last question I wasn't too bad what is your favorite song, poem, passage, and sing and recite your favorite first? I'm laughing like I didn't give these questions. <laughs> All right. Your girl's a partier, and I love to dance. And one of my favorite songs, and if you know it, pull it up. If you don't, pull it up. But it's Rob Bass's It Takes Two. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, it takes two to make a thing go right. Mm, mm, mm. It takes two to make it out of sight. Mm, 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 mm. It takes two to make a thing go right. Mm, mm, mm. It takes two to make it out of sight. Mm, mm, mm. I got an idea that I want to share. You don't like it, so what? I don't care. <laughs> You know, for copyright purposes, I can't sing the whole thing. However, I like that song because number one, it, it gets you up on your feet. It's a, it, it is. It's a fun song. But the one, the, the part that I love is you might have an idea. You might have a, a, a gift, a song, or you may have a concept, a strategy and you might be telling people, trying to get it out there. Not everybody's going to be for you. Nope. But those that are with you are with you. They're going to hear it. They're going to be impacted by it. They're going to, you You will be affecting change by saying it. And sometimes you just can't care that someone doesn't like your idea. And that's, I, I do. I like that song. It's a fun song. I know it's not deep and insightful because I tell you my counterparts they said some good stuff <laughs> maybe that's why I didn't want to do the interview <laughs> but that was it those were the six questions those were my answers I hope that you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe down below if you have not already so that you, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of new content that I put out every week and do not forget the simple habits inspire mindful transformation. So get your shift right. All right, ladies. So don't forget to tell a friend.
tell a friend, tell a friend.